check. Okay. Hello, everyone. Let me give you a brief definition of innovation really quick before we begin. Innovation can be, wait, how many of you know what does innovation means? Innovation can be new ideas, methods, or the improvement of objects, like technologies, mechanisms, etc. We can say also the ability to create something better that will help us in our daily life and launch it to the world. During forensic science class, the teacher was discussing about how criminals used to plant other fingerprints on crime scenes and how this ruined the life of many innocent people. She remarked that until this day, no one has solved this problem. Do you think we can differentiate between real and planted fingerprints? For me personally, no, I don't think so. When I finished school and returned home, I was looking more into this problem and how can I find a solution to it? That is when the UAE News Channel caught my attention. The reporter was talking about a student named Sara Abdullah, who developed a new mechanism that will reveal to experts the truth about fingerprints collected from crime scenes and whether they were planted or not. I, uh, the next day, I went to school with a smile on my face and waited patiently for the forensic science class so I can tell the teacher about the news. At the end of the day, I was so proud of how she worked hard to find a solution to that issue. Also, she was able to save many innocent people from unfairness. I mean, without Sarah's mind, we would be in danger. An intern at Dubai police has come up with a new method to identify fingerprints planted at, at crime scenes by criminals or those with an ulterior motive to turn the needle of suspicion on innocent people. Sarah Abdullah Amin Muhammad, an Emirati biotechnology intern from Sharjah University, has introduced promising research results on a new methodology to add forensic experts in distinguishing original fingerprints from planted ones at crime scenes. Working under the Dubai Police Internship Program, she conducted a research on the use of tips and planted fingerprints and identified signs and marks that forensic experts can detect and recognize during analysis. She said, planted fingerprints using tips leaves behind various signs and tape residue that are not present in the original fingerprints. She also said, during our experiment, we stimulated crime scenes with planted fingerprints to examine, compare, and contrast evidence and develop a new methodology that will help forensics uh, that will help forensics know that they are uh, planted fingerprints. Lieutenant Mohammed Tani Al Murray, an assistant expert at the forensics department, said, "Analyzing fingerprints left at crime scenes is one of the most critical parts of forensics analysis, and the police use it, use it in criminal investigations as a means of identification for sentries." He also said. Although we've never encountered any criminal cases where fingerprints were planted here in the UAE, such incidents have been reported in other countries where they, uh, where they use the fingerprints to condemn other uh, innocent people with crimes they did not commit. From the incidents, we know that criminals do many crimes without being scared or afraid that they might hurt others. To stop them, we need to think smartly and wisely about how we can improve the innovation in forensics. Going back to the planted fingerprint scene, the scene occurs at the victim's house, where they found too many fingerprints, but not yet identified. There were three suspects. All of their fingerprints were at the scene. And when they entered the interviewing or the questioning room, the investigator asked each suspect to tell him where he was at that day. Suspect one came for questioning. He entered the interviewing room, and the investigator asked him. He said in the morning he was at work working. Then at 4 p.m. he left his workplace and went to his house. He lived there at 4.20 p.m. Then he cooked food for himself and, wore, uh, and continued his work in his office unit. Then at 7 p.m. he cooked dinner and slept. Then suspect took him for questioning. At the beginning, he was quiet, yet he answered every question. Okay. In the morning, in, at 9 a.m., he, he was in the, in the library, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then he left the library at 4 p.m. and went to his mother's house. Okay. 
after that, he said that he, he, he stayed the night there. So the, uh, the, so, the, uh, so the detective asked his mother to come in the interviewing room and asked her a couple of questions. She also said that, uh, that my, yes, my son stayed with me at that night. Last but not least, suspect three came for questioning. In the morning, he was attending the university. After that, he was attending his classes at the university. After that, at 3.30 p.m., he left the university and went to the food truck station. He grabbed for himself food and went to his apartment immediately. So the police were not able to identify the criminal. So they used the discovered fingerprints and put their fingerprints in the, in the mechanism. The forensics took their fingerprints and put them in the mechanism. It appeared that the, the planted fingerprints had verse signs and tape residue. But only one of them didn't have very signs and tape residue. Which suspect do you think is the criminal? Three? One? Okay. Two. Okay. Let's find out. In the mechanism, it appeared that suspect one was guilty, but two and three were innocent. Now you will ask yourself how the mechanism said two and three were innocent, said exactly two and three were innocent. Well, two and three had very signs and tape residue. And we know that if any fingerprint had verse signs and tape residue, that means they were planted. And now we can see how this mechanism is useful in life. Also, also we can, also, Also, we can work on the innovation of DNA extracted from fingerprints. Did you know this information? According to researchers, it has been proven that DNA can be extracted even from a single fingerprint. However, there are several problems linked to a fingerprint sample as a DNA source. One of the main problems associated with fingerprint is that only 30 to 35% has been successfully amplified and typed. We want to work on the 30 to 35 percent and improve it so we can increase the percentage. But only there is one way of doing that, which is by improving the technology as well as making it more advanced. I want to clarify one thing about fingerprints and how important they are. We know that identical twins have the same blood type, they share the same blood type. But do you think they have the exact same fingerprints? No one in this world ever had the same fingerprints, even if they are identical twins. However, they do share the same blood type. For, uh, fingerprints is one of the most important evidence uh, of all the evidences. Wait, do you think fingerprints is important or the blood type? Blood? Fingerprints. Well, did you remember that we said fingerprints can, uh, no one ever had the same fingerprints? Well, if I had the same blood type as my sister, but, and I'm, uh, I have identical twin, and well, I did a murder scene, okay? Do you think that if they took my blood type, they will, they will know that I'm the criminal or my sister? But if they took my fingerprint, they will know exactly I'm the criminal. Fingerprints is one of the most uh, important evidence. And what is special about them is that they can show us directly who it belongs to. I want to help the police, investigators, and forensics in murder crime or any other crimes. We need to continue the innovation in technology and forensics because criminals come up with new ways Every year, criminals come up with new ways of committing crimes. To stop them, furthermore, to stop them, we need to think smartly and wisely about how we can improve the innovation and technology and the and forensics. In the end, we notice the importance of technology in forensics and how it can help them identify and deal with any evidence. Also, it makes their job easier and safer in the lab. Thank you, everyone.